Hi, so the reason you've probably clicked on this video is because you're either not exactly a film director nerd yourself or you want to learn more about film directors in general. Well, have no fear. Watch, listen and learn. A film director, by its very definition, is a person who directs the making of a film. Generally, a film director controls the film's artistic and dramatic aspects and visualises the script while guiding the technical crew and actors through to that vision. Some directors, in order to make themselves and their work stand out, include their own style within their films. This not only helps them stand out from the crowd, but also allows their work to be easily recognised through different projects that they have or are directing. It would be like describing people in general. Some may handle a situation in life different to the next, the same way one director will take a scene and interpret or film it in a different way to the other. So, let's go ahead and look at our first director. Martin Scorsese. A well-known American director and filmmaker of Hugo and the Wolf of Wall Street, just to name a few, is known for his long tracking shot in Goodfellas. Scorsese uses this tracking shot as a device for the audience to get to know the character of Henry. For example, we see him greeting others as he walks by. This tells us that he's a popular man that has gained the respect of others around him. However, in the same scene, the female character accompanying Henry is also still learning about him and who he is as a person. Therefore, this device also ties in with the narrative, as well as involving the audience. Every time you do, what you want? Our second film director is Edgar Wright. Edgar Wright is a well-known award-winning director. His most famous work as a film director includes Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz and World's End. Wright used the style of storytelling through fast cut scenes, using quick cuts to make a mundane activity seem interesting. He also uses this technique to convey time passing in these films, as for example when his character is travelling, rather than having a 20 minute long scene that conveys the same story. Another style Edgar Wright tends to use is having objects or people entering or exiting the scene in a comedic way, to lighten the mood of a tense scenario. Our third director is Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino is an American film director, screenwriter, cinematographer, producer and actor who has directed films such as Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, just to name a few. In most of his films, Tarantino tends to always include a low-angled shot, usually from a trunk of a car, as this creates a sense of power to the certain characters in the scene. He has also used the black and white effect in two of his films, Kill Bill and Death Proof. These scenes are inspired by his love for the appearance of early day films. And last but no means least, Wes Anderson. Wes Anderson, director of Rushmore and the Grand Budapest Hotel, just to name a few, much like the previous directors, has his own specific style to his films. Most directors would shy away from having their characters in the centre of the frame, but not Wes Anderson. He has developed his own style using symmetry in his films. This is a very clever tool to use as symmetry is naturally pleasing to the eye, therefore holds an area of interest to the audience watching. Wes Anderson's symmetrical style makes you look exactly where he wants you to look. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped you understand about different directors and their styles. I'm going to leave you with one of my favourite Edgar Wright quotes. Your frame is a playground, so play with it.